All right, folks, hello, welcome back to another jam-packed edition, and we are currently sitting around in this province. Oh, I was meant to switch the governor, too, which I didn't do. I was, you know, hey, we're doing battle. It's combat. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Not a whole heck of a lot. Can we buy weapons? <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's something we needed to do big time. Jean Yu, he's an awesome, an awesome Zun Yu. Jean Yu, I'm not sure. I'm getting jazz on the brain because I'm used to seeing ZH uh, to be the transliteration of languages I know as being Zhe, but probably not so for Chinese, a language which I am I admittedly not familiar with. Yeah, I'd really like to drive on, but uh, I, I unfortunately I've split up a lot of my military power. Which admittedly was a mistake on my part. I need some rice over here. Jeez Louise. Uh, I really don't want to hire those new guys and like cash out my rice right now. So we'll just leave it as is. But that was a that was a valuable uh, a valuable change, evolution in the situation. Uh, that uh, now. Let's take a look at our neighbor province here, 41. Let's make sure there are no threats. No, there's no threat. Okay. Plus, you know, uh, Luzang's not very aggressive. They're usually not interested at all in things that don't concern uh, those three provinces and maybe a couple of the neighbor ones. Other than that, they're not interested in getting into any kind of issue with uh, another power. Uh, which is kind of funny since obviously the game relies on uh, you What's the word for it? Like you win the game by taking over China. You can't win the game by just sitting there and waiting for something to happen. Whoops. I meant to actually reward somebody. Like you can absolutely not win the game that way. Let me go ahead and move a general or two over here to six. Yeah, let's see who's got the highest charm here. Yeah, we'll move Ching Yu over there. Uh, I'd like to go fight the guy out there, but um, probably just gonna have to wait. He's probably gonna attack another province, which is annoying, but. There's not much that can be done about it. Uh, yeah, there's another province that needs some funding. He's really not doing a whole hell of a lot here. Plus, he's got three other provinces looking at him. Yeah, I can't do anything with these guys till I, I form them up a bit more. Maybe I should. Maybe I should move all those guys up to, maybe I should just give up 40 for a little bit. Move them all up here to 29, because this is really the biggest threat right now. Is this guy and his band of merry men? Yeah. Okay. I do like this kind of out in the boonies music here. I like that. It really does make it seem like you are like way far away from anything right now, which is absolutely true, right? All right, Luyan, why don't you like improve the uh, land a little bit? Well, I figure out what the hell I'm gonna do next. All right. Maybe if I move like a hundred dudes up here, it will prevent. Oh, here we go. I can switch them out real easy if I just do that, right? That's true. There we go. And now I can have a new governor. Uh, let's make it Zhang Na because he's the only one who has decent loyalty. Okay, so now we resume the fighting. So he's definitely sent reinforcements. Yeah, a lot of them too, huh? All right, so let's get ready to meet these reinforcements. Let's see, do they have anybody good? Oh, Xiao Hao Ba is pretty good. And yes, I do enjoy saying it like that. Um, I'm not sure if it's really necessary but it felt necessary. All right, so I'm not going to touch this guy anymore because I'm gonna go fight these reinforcements, which I am, I wouldn't fight them thusly if I wasn't sure that they were going to be 
uh, a bunch of candy asses. Of course, I'm gonna try to get every uh, ambush I can on them. And yeah, so that's pretty much my complete strategy. You've got it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, it's probably not gonna work to my advantage uh, to just sit in that fort there. So I gotta try to get into some sort of, yeah, in some sort of formation that will benefit uh, me and also allow me to do a lot of simultaneous attacks. But I already know that the first thing they're gonna wanna do is go ape shit on my, uh, my Guan Yu there. See in here? Damn. Well, yeah, I, I knew that already, though, didn't I? Yes, you did. And that could have certainly been avoided. But it was not avoided. That's okay. Let's go do our best to uh, kind of swing this around. One to land the most ambush hits as we can. Ooh, Kong Rong is gonna go ahead and charge Guan Yu. He'd he do fairly well for himself, too, which I'm rather surprised about. So Guan Yu shouldn't have any chance in hell, or uh, I'm sorry, Kong Rong should not have a chance in hell of surviving a charge. Um, Guan Yu. Guan Yu's eventually gonna have to get himself the hell out of there. Because that is uh, not a good position to be in. Even though the guys he's getting triple attacked by are not particularly awesome. So I'm going to have him charge out. Yeah, which he'll do pretty well at. Uh, but then we need to... Uh, block everyone's access to the guana right there, which we're gonna do right now. Good. And it's not like we can't take, yeah. Huh. Certainly try that, didn't you? So a double attack is a lot better than a triple attack. And still we're in a pretty good position to do big time damage. Uh, to these guys who are still around. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna continue. We're just gonna continue uh, continue the assault here. And that's the thing is, uh, we can pretty much at any time we like uh, take the castle. He's only got 36 guys, so he's pretty well de uh, depleted right now. But I think it's very important that we deplete this uh, force here. And we captured a lot of their generals as well, and then we can spread them through the south. So this is pretty much a, uh, I don't want to say it because I'll feel dirty, holistic approach. Um, and I don't even know if I use that right. I don't know if that can be used right. I feel like anytime you say holistic reproach, reproach, holistic approach, you're in the wrong. Like you have transgressed. Good. Now we've got this guy quadruple, but why go quadruple when you can go quintuple? Oh, what the hell happened there? Did he move my guy? Maybe he did. Oh yeah, he moved him Zhang Fei into the fire because Zhang Fei is kind of a dumb dumb. But that's okay. It's uh, hardly important at this point. His dumb dumbness because we're still going to be able to put him in quite a spot. And I mean, even if I this takes me another turn, I got plenty of rice. I don't know what the hell this guy is thinking. Like Xiao Hao Ba would be a much better dude to go ahead and try to. Ooh, he's got a quadruple attack. Let me look at this real quick. Yeah, we've got plenty of rice to continue on with this battle uh, for a few more, you know, 30-day periods. And this might actually be the preferred strategy to keep these forces tied up as we deplete them, as we reduce them. But the fact that they're tied up means their ability to actually uh, cause chaos anywhere else is greatly reduced. I'd like to see where Xiao Hao Ba is. 
Because the last thing I want to do is get messed up by him. Ah, oh, we've got a guy to the south, okay. No, that's the guy to the south, is Xiao Haba. Ah, and one of the guys got trapped by fire. Which is why he is chosen. Okay, okay, alright, all right, I get it, I get it. Alright, Xiao, uh, Zhang Bao. Kong Rong finally dies. He usually dies uh, right at the beginning of the game, but this time he got to die later, so good for him. Alright, so let's see. Is this guy gonna step into a quadruple pressure? Yeah, he did. Wow, that's pretty stupid. My guy's in a triple, but that's, that's okay, because the middle of, well, two parts of this triple are extremely weak. I think Xiao Hao Ba is the other part of it, which he is not. And capturing Xiao Hao Ba would be great, uh, but that might take some doing. But for right now, everything's looking real good as far as uh, depleting these reinforcement forces, uh, because it's going to greatly benefit my ability to con do my other conquests. And this land bridge, man, yeah, you really got yourself into some shit, didn't you there, Xiao Hao Ba? Because now you're, you're going to be quintuple surrounded and I'm gonna get rid of that guy okay not like he was a big deal but still it's it's good now look at that bam and he has only one uh, way of doing oh no now a simultaneous attack became a triple which that's not as good but it's still okay Xiao Ba is definitely the one I want to concentrate on here because he is uh, far and away the most talented general that got sent to bail out Cao Cao. Man, but uh, being in the middle of these five is just... He's got wrecked. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able... We'll be able ah, we weren't able to capture him. Let's see if he gets away. No, he got away. Oh, that sucks, because I would have gladly taken him. Uh, Xiao Hao Ba is very interesting in that, though he's one of the Xiao Hao brothers, he ends up working for Shu, uh, and this is right at the end of the uh, Three Kingdoms period, uh, because although he was always a loyalty, yeah, I mean the Sao Sao, uh, the Sao family and the Xiao Hao's are, are related. Uh, they're like cousins or something like that. Um, so because these two families are related and linked by blood, of course, they're family, and as such, uh, they're very loyal to each other, as all the Xiao Hao's uh, serve uh, Cao Cao. But when Sima Yi begins to, uh, not Sima Yi, but Sima Yi's family begins to uh, creep in and usurp the control of the Cao family, which had previously usurped uh, the Han Dynasty, uh, Xiao Hao Ba uh, basically defects to the shoes to work against the Sima family because he feels working for Wei would be an insult to, you know, I mean, would be working for the people who overthrew his family. Or at least the closely related family of the Saos. So it's kind of interesting to see a, a Xiao Hao working on the side of Shu. Oh boy. Ah! Gosh darn it, that was a good move by him. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and charge right through this guy. Oh, Shang Liao. Oh, he's tough. Yes, and he's dead too. And I said yes because, um, because he's a turd and he always betrays me. Um, he's definitely one of those Sao Sao loyalists. He's the one who convinced uh, Guan Yu it was a good idea or that it was, uh, I think I already said that, that it would be more in keeping with his oath to serve Liu Bei if he surrendered to Cao Cao and allowed, and allowed himself in Cao Cao's service than to allow himself to be killed in battle because there would, it would allow a chance to serve Liu Bei again instead of dying in which there would never be a chance to serve him again. Okay, day 22, I think this will be just about it, but capturing those guys and or killing them was great. Uh, Xiao Hao Ba, wish I could have got him, did not get him. Zhang Liao, I'm glad he's dead uh, because he would be of no payoff to me. <coughs> he would uh, do me no no service. And if I can behead Cao Cao, you better believe I'm going to. If I capture him, his head is gone uh, because he's he's a lot of trouble. And Cao P is far less talented than him and a lot easier of a guy to deal with. 
Let's see if he runs. He probably will. Yeah, he got away too. Uh, but that's okay. That's not really okay. It's okay enough. No, this battle turned out beyond my wildest dreams. Sal Ren, I want him. I'll take you. I'll take all of you guys. Screw it. Why not? I need more generals. Simply. Uh, and I can take every single one of you. Even you, Yon Poo. Even you, generic face man. Um, Fugan, yeah. So, yeah. And we get us. Yeah, the Book of Virtue is War Spoils. Uh, okay, that increases our intelligence. So I'm going to give it to Zushu, who will also be 100. And he'll be loyalty 100 for like forever and a day. So he eventually, he gets smart. He's like 100, which is as good as it gets, obviously, right? And then he's also super loyal. No, Lutu, I can't be, I can't help you anyway. Look at where you're at. There's nothing I could do for you regardless. Um, Sao Ren. No, no, Sao Ren didn't join him again, I guess. Oh, he ran up there. He didn't run that night. Okay. So yeah, wow, Sao Sao's been broken to pieces. Like, I didn't see how much he was degraded, uh, but he definitely got degraded there. Okay, well, we're in real good shape right now. Um, yeah, let me see here. What we're gonna do with old Huang Zong. Everybody should be pretty damn loyal. Yeah, everybody's pretty damn loyal. Let's go ahead and hire up our troops. He's loyal because I gave him the gave him the book, the book of epic wisdom. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have a few of my provinces now actually be delegated. Uh, now that I'm now that I got it on the brain, you know. Oh shoot! I don't want to dismiss anybody. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you don't want any of your front provinces to be delegated, because if they are, and they get invaded, you don't get to control the battle. And it's not like, like some of those I would just run away anyway. Uh, but some where I got like 200 guys there, you know, I might be able to do something. It's not necessarily just a, a lost cause in that case. Move some, you know, I can't move any goods. Okay, good. Alright, so, yeah, this might be the time where we go ahead and, uh, put together some forces so we get some moving done. Uh, Province 29 is definitely something that needs to go down in the near future. Mm, I wonder if I can move, yeah, maybe move myself and Gong Z down. Yeah, and then maybe we'll move a couple of guys up, you know, just kind of spread some talent around. But we need more of a, who's most charming? You. Oh, well, that's not you. It was somebody else. That's okay though. All right, so we got like 17 generals here. Um, so let's go ahead and move some of them somewhere, right? All right, so Sal Ren is great, but we're just gonna basically strip. God darn, you're all hurt, you fairies. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and move them down. Ooh, he moves, eh, nah. eh, well, all right, so just wait. Don't wanna do that yet, okay. So let's assign people. Uh, let's have Lu Quian do that. All right, take all the soldiers away. Here we go. Make sure you keep our fighters fresh. Fresh fighters need to stay fresh because uh, we're probably going to pursue further. Still got good training. Buy weapons. So I'll probably leave Guan Yu here in charge. But we need to go send some forces north to pursue our enemies. Very unfortunate for us is that we can't, what can't we do right now? Yeah, we can't make any moves uh, yet. Now we got a lot of horses here, that's pretty cool. Yeah, every time you take over the capital, you get stuff, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, you're all, you're all in the 50s, which is fine. I'm not worried about us getting a couple of these guys picked off because it's, it's just gonna happen. And I gotta wait till these guys are able to be moved. All right, province 31, okay. So we've been plussed up here. The mine is down somewhere else. Okay, let's see. 
let's send these two up to kind of replace these guys. Or maybe we just send one. It's probably good enough, right? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, let's send, uh, yeah, let's send Yang Yang up there. Okay, send a thou back. Send a thou to me, I'll send a thou back. And then if we can get uh, some of our real good guys who are with Sun Chuan or Sun Chuan or whatever, that'll be even better. So let's go ahead and send a couple of these guys. Let's send Gu Yi and Yang. No, no, I'm gonna wait till I can send these other two shitheads down. Uh, Gu Yi probably wouldn't be bad uh, to send down there because he's nothing special. Um, but anyway, yeah, so let's just sit with this for a little bit. But we're almost ready to start making moves on, uh, but I'm probably gonna make my moves against uh, 29, first of all. That's the that's what I really need to do something to. Um, it's not that important. Ah, I'm supposed to set some rice here. That's okay. Everybody's fine, continue. Let's, let's go ahead and give, actually, give some rice here. We're not too charming, but that's okay. You don't need to be too charming, you're fine. Fine just the way you are, everybody loves you that way. Ugh, yeah, I probably should model the on. Ah, here we go, all right. So we need to, oh, wrong, wrong guy. I thought it was the other guy for some reason. Ah, cow dang, why are you so, why so not happy with me? It's like we're fighting your relatives or something. Um, okay. So Dong Heng's gonna need to do something. He's gonna need to take care of the business. Uh, but it's probably gonna be later than sooner. Um, let me see about this. Uh, let's get armed for the first, in the first place, let's get some people under with actual weapons here. That'll be good. Uh, my Yan, okay. Yeah, good, all right. And then who can I... Man, I gotta help loyal you. What the heck, dude? So anyway, I think we'll probably lay an attack. Yeah, we'll lay an attack in the very near future on Province 3. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and reclaim our, uh, our lost territory up there. That's my guy, Yai Jai, right. Unfortunately, you've only got these two, so we're really hoping nobody will attack us. So that's the idea. We hope nobody will attack all the I China. Okay. So, fingers crossed. Um, I don't know if I got through Province 31 yet or not. Um, improve the land, which you figure might be a bad idea to try to improve the land during the winter time. Province 19, shoot, just this guy, huh? Jeez, always. Uh, hopefully nobody tries anything here either. Province 6, with your new overlord, who's better, well, he's not that much better, okay, whatever. I just didn't want to leave this obviously disloyal guy in charge. But Cheng Yu is a lot better than uh, the other guy, so it's really uh, kicking the the balls there. Um, shit. Well, I've left myself incredibly vulnerable, so hopefully nobody decides to take advantage of my vulnerability. I got a lot of new generals who'll be coming down real quick here. Um, okay. Yeah, nah, I don't want to be friends. But I don't want you to attack me either, okay? Eugene, if you can, if you can get him, take him, I say. All right, nobody attacked. Su Ling received the letter. He didn't join. All right, well, good. Everything's peaceful, peaceful enough. All right, excellent. Well, we're at 24 minutes. I think that's enough for one game. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.